Well, the topic is the meaning and purpose of human life. That's a big topic. And I don't think we're going to get a perfectly satisfactory answer. But the first thing we need to do is analyze the question. This can seem somewhat pedantic, but maybe it's my engineering background, but you really have to thoroughly understand the problem before you try to solve it. It's not a waste of time, it's uh, necessary. So meaning and purpose, let's talk about meaning. Now meaning consists of an agreement between two people, between a sender of the message and a receiver of the message. For instance, here's a word, and I'm speaking in English, so if you're an English speaker, that word is pronounced tool, and it means one of these things. But if you speak Estonian, that word, T-O-O-L, means that you're at work. So we need an agreement between two parties as to meaning, otherwise there's no meaning. Now here's a phrase, does that have any meaning? Well, in Samoa, it means tool. But if there were no Samoans on the earth, it would be meaningless. It only has meaning when there's an agreement, when there's a known intended communication. I remember when I was um, grade school, high school, we learned the poem, The Midnight Ride of Paul Revere. One if by land and two if by sea, and I in the opposite shore will be. And the idea was that the British were attacking Boston or leaving Boston to attack somewhere else. This is during the American Revolutionary War. And Paul Revere wanted to know if they were going to attack by land or by sea. And someone gave him the signal by putting one or two lanterns in the church. But a month later, if Paul Revere had seen a lantern in that church, it would mean nothing. So I think, I don't think what is the meaning of life is the right question. Now, what is the purpose of life? Well, that's something different. Purpose is the intended use for something. What are you trying to accomplish? What is your purpose to, in going to school? Do you want to get a better job? Do you just want to learn the knowledge? You, but there's some purpose. Now, purpose, however, though, is not inherently, is not inherent, not necessarily inherent. For instance, the maker who makes a hammer might have an intended purpose that the hammer be used to drive nails. But there's nothing to stop me from using that hammer as a paperweight or to break a car window if I leave my keys in the car and I can't get them out. So if a God who is a person made us, that God might have an intention or a purpose in mind. And in Catholic school, I learned that uh, my purpose on life was to know, love, and serve God. So a God who is a person might conceivably have a purpose in mind for creating us. But does it make sense to talk about the ultimate ground of existence having an intended purpose? Well, there are religions that have the idea of uh, ultimate reality, and they say that the purpose of human life, this is just one religion, actually it's just one uh, Hindu holy man, he said that the purpose of uh, human life was to come to know God. Now, I think that our purpose is whatever we decide to make it. Just like I can repurpose that hammer and use it as a paperweight, I can make my life's purpose whatever I want. I could decide my life's purpose is to know God, or if I think that's impossible, that, that mystical experience is impossible or is unlikely for me, I can make my purpose to live in accordance of, with the wishes of some God who is a person. In other words, adopt the religion and try to follow what it says. I could just make my life's purpose helping people or finding love. I could make it that I want to become rich or famous or wealthy. I can make my purpose in life whatever I want. It's my choice. And it's, I think it's your choice. So I know that's perhaps not a very satisfying answer. I'd love to be told the meaning and purpose of life. 
a lot of people would like to know. But that's the best I can do. Maybe someday I'll have a better answer. But I don't for now. Thanks.